dirt roads to rock crawling, two buck chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to Wheeling Wine and Whiskey podcast here at Hammertown Heights Estates in Johnson Valley. Oh my Chris, God, that's a long How intro. you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Um, I am f- four days into this operation now, I think. At least three, three days. Three, three, Something three like days. that. You just got here. I just got here What'd this you morning think of, this of when you drove in today? So today is... Friday, 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 the Friday third, before the big second, race. Second, third, second, third, third, third. I'm gonna go with three, Alex, <laughs> for five hundred. You know what? Time dates don't matter once you're on the lake bed. They just don't. No, it doesn't. Um, it's it, you know what? This is the first time I've had to wait on Boone Road. Yeah, you said you waited forty minutes. Forty minutes to get to the gate to get to the to point register. where they they divide us. You know, if you're a spectator or if you're media vendor or racer, uh, that's when I was. You know went off to the side and i was able to get it get into the yeah, tent the racer media and side register real quick it, once i got there it was super quick sure. i was in and out in 10 minutes and you know then i was able They're to very find efficient camp. oh yeah no very it's great. nice so very welcoming but uh, the, the, once i got through the gate and i was popping along the remainder of boone road coming towards you know gate one where you make the turn at the yep. fire firewood pit um just the number of people that are already here oh, i mean it was it's like a rerun of last year but I think it's going to be bigger, and I know that our guest is going to have a lot, a lot of more, a lot more information about it. But just my shooting from the hip perception, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, so yeah. Without further ado, we we're just we're just starting off hammers with a bang here, and we we've, we've <laughs> yeah. got a lot of interviews to do. And yes, this interview do. has been a long time coming. Yes, it has. It and uh, mm-hmm. it's very elusive character trying to get a hold of this guy. You know, it's just, it's tough. But uh, we finally, <laughs> we finally. Um, Tackled him down there. We we drug him away from the fire pit in Hammertown, and we got Miles Hasselquist here. Miles, how you doing, man? Welcome uh, um, to the podcast. Yeah. So, like you're saying, like I, I we're, we're laughing about it, but I do feel bad because I have blown <laughs> you off a, a few times. That it, at the races, it's just busy, and then I'm this way, that way. But at Prairie City, I did come to look for you. You did. And you, you already bailed out. You so, did. I had. So now I, we're even. I had. To, I had to unfortunately um, uh, head out real quick. I came back to camp, but you, yes, you did text me and say, hey. I'm in your camp. Uh, where are and, you? And there's nobody here. Yeah, we're there. So, yes, no, absolutely. <laughs> well, hey, welcome to the podcast, man. This is this is great. And so, um, yeah, we kind of, uh, you know, you've been working for Ultra 4 now for how long? Uh, uh, I mean, technically since 2012 is the first year I, I accidentally got on the show. And, okay. And then just... You know, work myself through the ranks, and and here we are. It's been a wild ride. So I know yeah. you were uh, you were AAA service guy, yep. right? Yep. Just people yep. would lock their keys in the car, dead battery, all, out all of gas. Yep. You did yeah, all the, that the light service. I didn't tow, but I did all. Okay, yeah, yeah. Unlock, jump starts, tire changes, the quick and easy stuff. So um, was it a lot of women that were locking their keys in the car? <laughs> it's fifty fifty shot. Oh, really? yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's uh, our, right. our ratings just went through the floor. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, no, no, there, there's idiots everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> and I, I've done it too. Prius drivers, <laughs> um, but anyway, that no, was funny. So, um, how did that come about for you to start announcing? So, yeah, I mean, I'll just jump into it. Yeah, I'll, I'll start ranting and raving. But uh, so, uh, Wyatt um, Triple Nickel Racing, yeah, back in XRA days, uh, we yeah. you know, we're from the same hometown. He moved to Texas, but we've been buddies for a long time. And uh, we started doing XRA, and I'm like, this is pretty wild. I was just pit crew, okay, and then uh, he. He called. I was on a, a a date with my wife, and he calls like, "Hey, we're going to to, to King of the Hammers in in California." I'm like, "Dude, I've never been past Denver and Colorado. Like, yeah, I, California I don't know, whatever." Bad. So so we talk, and he, he's shooting it out, and uh, Bender kind of uh, gave us a little nod to, to Dave to let us in. Okay. It was kind of one of those, you know, it was an invite, but you had to know people to get in. You know, ah. so it, it worked out good. And uh, so I was talking to the wife. I'm like, you know, this is a once in a lifetime trip. I think I'm going to go. And sure. she's like, she's like, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so we come out here, uh, you know, did the XR for a little bit and then came out to uh, KOH in 09 and I was pit crew nine, 10, 11. Oh, wow. Uh, just, you know, literally pit crew changing tires and mm-hmm. drinking beer at night and, you know, just doing the shenanigans. Really? Yeah. They do that here at night. Oh, I mean, that's what we're doing right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So then, uh, 
I, I wasn't really big on on pirate. I, I had a login, but okay. I didn't. I, I wasn't really into the internet back then. Okay, but why it was? Yeah, and they they uh, Dave puts on there looking for a, a pit reporter and uh, sit, you know make a video. So my buddy Travis with forty two Copperhead has a YouTube deal, and uh, we made a video, and it was it was cheesy. Sure. I'm in my razor, you know. It's you know I didn't know what I was doing back then, but I was like, shoot, I'll, I'll throw my hat in the deal. Yeah, it, uh, you won a thousand bucks. Oh wow! Yeah, you know? so Whoa. I was like, that sounds like a free vacation, right? Yeah, because that's yeah. basically what it cost me uh, between fuel, food, and beer. Sure, is, it was about a grand. Yeah, so I was like, free trip? Heck yeah! <laughs> so we came <laughs> out here, and, and it's funny. So I, I made my video, and then there's there's only three people that made videos. Really? Out <laughs> of all that thing, so. I won, but nobody really won. Because <laughs> so, they've invited all three of us. He's like, well, if there's only three of you. Bring it out. Oh, uh, wow. So, so we did it, and I came out, and, and I was I was out at Chocolate Thunder with Jim Holtis, and it was, it was okay. cool. It was fun. And uh, I did, obviously, good enough. Uh, so then it was probably Thanksgiving the next year. I called Dave. I was like, hey, I had fun. Can I come back? He's like, absolutely. Sweet. I was like, cool. Nice. So did it again. You know, same principle, kind of low-key. Yeah. Uh, Chad Raglan was the main host back then. Okay. And, uh, Tech Tim helped. And yeah. There, there's a, a long list of names out there. Um, so it was fun. Did it again. That, same thing. A thousand bucks. Free vacation. Killer. Well, then uh, my third year, they called me. and said, oh, hey, can you come yeah. back? Now you're in. Like, All right. <laughs> so that, that went that way for, oh, the next three or four years. And then I just, they, like, you want to you know, announce some of the races in the in the the main host, right? right? Or be a co-host. Yeah. I was like, heck yeah, yeah. Well, I would you, you know. So I've worked with you know Ricky Johnson, Cam Steele, like it's it, the heroes of the sport. Right. And, sure. and I'm in there just mixing elbows with them, and and it, it, I'm kind of glad it worked that way because it was a progression. Because this isn't my strong suit. I'm better now, but back then I I right. hated talking in front of the class. You sure, know? So, sure. Uh, it worked out the progression, and uh, then I just cut. I made friends with the producers and all the people and the camera guys, and it we just became a click. Sure. So I, I just kept doing more and more and more, and then and then here we go. It was, I think it was 2017. I was I was working, and uh, Dave says, "Hey, what are you doing this weekend?" I was like, "Well, working." He's mm-hmm. like, "Well, we need we need a, a, an announcer for an Oklahoma race." I'm okay. Like, uh, oh wow. Well, let me see what I you know I don't know. So I called my boss, like, hey, can I get off this? Yeah, whatever. Me and my boss are cool. Okay. So I called Dave back. I was like, hey, I can cake, I can come. He's like, well, we already got it figured out. We got somebody else lined out. Oh, like, bummer. Right. He's like, but you're coming to the Stampede. And that was 2017. I okay. Was like, Shoot, yeah. So I went there, and then I haven't missed a race since. No um, kidding. Yeah. So that was 17. So when was the first year that you did on Chocolate Thunder and stuff? Uh, 2012. 2012. Yep. Okay, so it was 2012. Yep. Wow. Yep. So Man. it's been, well, I guess this is my 11th, 11th year. 11th yeah, year. On the live show. And Holy it's, it's smokes. So, what yeah, a crazy ride. It's been, it's been, it's been a trip. Uh, so yeah, then it was basically two years ago right now is when I first started full time for Dave. Sure. And uh, I've worked for AAA for almost 15 years at the time. Wow. And they, you know, we kind of heard some rumors and were smelling some funny stuff that it was just getting a little squirrely on the corporate side. Okay. Well, then they call a big meeting. We're like, oh, this ain't good. Oh. <laughs> so they gave us uh, basically, a, I can't remember if it was three months or six months, but basically like, hey, you know, you're going to get a severance, but we're cutting the whole uh, AAA is getting rid of uh, corporate. Like oh, you're wow. done. Uh, you can go work for a contractor, but we're getting rid of the corporate Got it. division. Got it. So I was super bummed because I really liked my job. Uh-huh. And I'd been there long enough that I had enough vacation to do the, the this. Yeah, and, do stuff. And yeah. personal stuff as sure. well. So, yeah, yeah. Because I had a weird schedule. I worked three days on, two days off. Four days on, five days off. Kind of so, like a firefighter. Yeah, it was really similar, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's so good, every yeah. other weekend, I was off for five days. So if a race fell on that weekend, it's, it's gravy. So every my Thursday, Friday, my day's off. Okay. That was my weekend. So nice. then if it was a race weekend, I'd just take Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, off, yeah. So now you back. got a four-dayer. So, uh, between vacation and just luckily if it fell on that weekend, I was I was pretty good. Okay. And, and you know, I wasn't rich. or I wasn't making a lot of money, but I was making good money. Sure. And this was bonus money. It was, yeah. it was working. And you had time yeah, and to I, go do stuff. And like stuff. I said, I, I liked what I did. I was good at it. And and this was just a fun hobby and bonus money, bonus fun. I mean, I get paid to go hang out with the racers. And, Heck, yeah. And it was, it was sweet. Well, then that happened, and... And I was bummed. I was like, sure. man, I thought I kind of had life figured out. You know, 401k, <laughs> right, right. Pension, you know, you got, I'm doing life right. Right. You know? Got and the then picket just, fence and the kids you know, and the yeah. dog and the whole thing. Yeah. And then just, that was kind of a gut kick. And so I was like, well, what do I want to do when I grow up? <laughs> I right. thought I had it figured out, but I don't. Right. Uh, so I'm, I'm brainstorming, whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to call Dave. 
and see uh, if one of our sponsors is looking for like a sales rep. I was okay. Like, that, that seems like it'd be my wheelhouse. And uh, I, I, I pitched that to him. He's like, why don't you just come work for me? I'm like, huh. Um, I, let, let me think on it. No, yeah. no. I told him no. <laughs> and then I, so now I'm looking for a job and I, I found quite a few opportunities, but it, it was really hard to be the new guy saying, oh yeah, by the way, I need like three to four weeks of vacation. <laughs> right, and right. I, Trust me, I get it. I'm yeah, in that yeah. boat so right now. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't working very good. And and uh, I just, I couldn't figure it out. So I called Dave. I was like, so what'd you have in mind? Yeah. And we sparked a deal. I was like, this is what I need to keep yeah. My lifestyle yeah. alive. He's like, no problem. Let's do wow. it. Wow. So uh, Dave, Dave's been great to me. He really has. And, cool. And, and we're here. And then obviously the sale went through, and the unknown was scary. Oh, I was going to uh, say, was, I wanted to bring that up. It, it so. was it was terrible. Uh, you didn't no, know no, no no fault to Dave, no fault to anybody. So it, he didn't was, give you a heads up or uh, like yeah yeah he did. we had a heads up. Okay, but then he, but no like. Inside of like, well, here's, don't worry, you know, everything's going to be fine, or like, no, I don't ex- know, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, it was just the unknown. But he, yeah. he basically came and said, "Hey, the uh, the Ultra Four USA is sold. I'm Keegan King the Hammers. Uh-huh. If anybody wants to go work for for Jason Robinette, the new owners, yeah, right. you're more than welcome to. Or you can stay with me and stay. We'll just keep it going. I'm like, yeah. But he did call me out personally and said, "Hey." We need to balance. I assume they want you. Sure. I want you. You're a very shared asset. I was like, yeah, yeah. I get that. But Perfect. most everybody else stayed with them, and obviously JT's over yeah. there. And so, uh, but it's been a good transition. But the the contract didn't go. It, it was a little rocky. There's just okay. you know the legal mumbo jumbo. Oh, yeah. I tried to stay out of it, but it just took a lot longer than anticipated. Okay. And, and like I said, the unknown was was not good. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, going from one you know disappointment, losing your job, and then. Then you know, landing on your feet with with uh, Dave Cole and, and Ultra Four Racing and King of the Hammers, and then boom, it's like you know Mid America Outdoor and, and the Robinettes, and but it's uh, you know everything worked yeah, out. Yeah, so Dave took care of me. He did like he 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 kept me on salary with him wow. until the sale was officially official. Like I tried to say like. Cut, cut me down yeah. you're paying me too much because I'm working for them but it, it balanced out okay but, um, they both I was you know I'm I was on board with both of them saying the same thing that like hey I need to make money to pay my bills but I don't right. want to like I'm not trying to double dip I don't want to well I kind of did a little bit but on it was double dipping on top like gotcha, they, gotcha. Both, both sides understood yeah and well, then uh, yeah the Robinettes were, were great to me and and Dave's still great to me and it's it's now it's solidified and I basically work I work for a, a AOE from after hammers okay. to Thanksgiving. Okay. From Thanksgiving to after hammers I work for Dave. Okay. And and I have meetings on both sides sure. between I'm I'm here to bounce ideas. I'm I'm not saying I'm not going to work for you here or there, but right. they both respect me and I go to meetings God, there. How great is that? Me and it's just it's good balance. And and they're here. They're here. They got their VIP. I, they've got. I was going to say I I, I want to meet them. I haven't met them people, yet. Man. I've they're heard great. nothing but great things. And and their park. I've been I've been lucky enough to go to a lot of places. And and they're in Jay Oklahoma. Jay Oklahoma. Yeah. Outdoors, the nicest park I've ever been to. And it's an off road park. So like it's it's an RV park plus it's off road. No, it's the I, best it, it looks world. like Disneyland. It, it is. I mean, they got the, the, the swimming pools and the endless river and oh, stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, you know, great. the Barbie race is the going bar- on. Barbie Jeep race, yeah. yeah. They built that RC track. I mean, he just keeps and, and building that And now Pastrana's jumping. Now Pastrana's I mean, involved. So. I'm a fanboy of his. I still I, haven't, I, I've, I've bumped into him. I've said hi, but okay. we haven't hung out. But I'm... I'm but you will be hanging that. out with him. That's your host, though. Yeah. Dude, yeah, he's super chill. He's so oh, yeah. cool. And, it, yeah, the stuff he's done. He, he's is, at the top of the sport. Yeah, he, he really. we just lost Ken Block, and I yeah. didn't know him at all. But, but oh, he was one of those that I hoped to bump into eventually. Because yeah. he was one of the coolest ever. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think him and Pastrana are, yeah. in, my, in my eyes, sure. like, two at the top of the level, for sure. Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure, he's no doubt. loving no doubt. life. So I was going to say, with with uh, the solidification of all this this contract talk with between uh, Mid America and, and Ultra Four, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, King of the Hammers. Uh, one of the things that I appreciate, and I hope our listeners and the rest of the fan base appreciates, is the consistency. Yeah, we don't have you know different announcers for different for the same race series, if you will, um, which is cool. I mean, consistency is important. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's good for it's good for us. It's good for the yeah. the the racers, the fans. I mean, it's it's a good balance. And and they, like I said, Dave and Jason have both treated me uh, amazing. The first phone call from Jason, JT and I are buddies, so he called me and said, "Hey, he's gonna be calling you. You know, here's yeah. You know, I I put your name in the hat and 
Yeah. You better answer the phone call. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he called me and we just chatted and it was only like a 10 minute phone call. And he's like, what do you need? What do you want? And I was like, well, wow. I'm just going to be honest. This is what I was doing. This yeah. is what I want. And he's like, yeah. fair. I was like, I just need to put it on my notes so I can make a budget. Because uh-huh. uh, Jason's a, a businessman. Sure. Like he's, oh, of course. He's business first. And, and, and that's why he's been so successful mm-hmm. at that thing. Mm-hmm. And then obviously Dave was a passionate racer that mm-hmm. built the deal. So they're, they're two different. They come from two different backgrounds, sure. but have have it's crazy how alike they are in certain situations okay. on, on the on the big visions of stuff. Like it's wild. That's it's cool. Wow, that's awesome. So, kind of let's circle let's circle around a little bit. I want to kind of understand a little bit about um, you know you're definitely entrenched in the Ultra Four world, whether it's King of the Hammers or all the other races, East Coast, West Coast. Um, but or east east side of the country, west side of the country. Let's not be coastal. <laughs> but um, what's your? Do you have any? Do you do you race? Have you raced? Are you an off roader? Uh, so what's your, what's that? All <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So I'll go way way back. I, I grew <laughs> up. My, my parents were as, as hippies you can get. I mean, I, I the first five years I was a vegetarian. I didn't know better. But I mean, they, oh, I mean, wow. they were they were green as you can get. Oh and, wow! <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, I went canoeing instead of wheeling back yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. I mean, that's just what we did. Uh, I don't regret any of it. No. Um, but yeah, it, it's it. I grew up different than that for sure. But uh, I I took a liking to it, and my mom and dad bought me a three wheeler. You know, I was I don't know, early teens, and I was like, this is cool. And then got a four wheeler, and then you know got a samurai, and got a tracker, and then a full size Chevy, and so just grew up wheeling yeah. as a teenager. Okay. Um, and and really enjoyed it. And then when the razors came out, I bought one of those, and I, that that was really my first like. I loved wheeling, don't get me wrong, but the UTVs really, I, that was that was my jam. Uh, so then we're just running around a field and the creeks with my buddies, oh, and yeah. we were racing each other without a race, and, and I realized that was actually pretty good. So uh, <laughs> I started racing UTVs in a small circuit around Kansas City, Okay, and it uh, was very successful. It was a lot of fun. And that was back when, when uh, the 900s first came out. Oh, okay. uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of uh, add-ons. And, sure. You know, so it was, I felt like it was a driver's class, like... I had bought a stock machine. Everybody's kind of driving the yeah. same thing. So yeah. back then I was very competitive and I loved it. And and then it got into, you know, the turbos come out. And oh, it, yeah. just, it started getting All into a money game. Stuff. And I was... I, I was comfortably broke. I, I just kind of <laughs> comfortably broke. I, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I mean, I've good. got money, but I, I I couldn't afford to keep up with the big boys. I'm going to so. use that comfortably yeah, broke. Yeah, that, that, use it. Pretty much where <laughs> I am right now. Uh, so yeah, it was it was great. And then I just I, I didn't get burned out. I just got I start I had kids and they they went with me for a while, and then just just busy with life, money. I just kind of just hung my hat up, and uh, and then I that's when I actually started making money announcing. Okay. So I was like, uh-huh. well. I still get to go do cool stuff, right. go to the races, instead of spending all my money You're on the race car. Money. I'm making money. I was yeah. like, yeah, this is a perfect time yeah. to transition. So Good. It, it worked out well. And and I, I loved racing. I, I still do. And if I had too much money, I would be racing still. Wow. Uh, here and there. Yeah. Um, so if but, somebody threw a car at you, you'd suit up and go at it? Yeah. yeah I'd, give her, I'd, I'd give her a shot. Absolutely. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. What about Codog? You can, you... Uh, I, I've, I've done it before. I like the steering wheel. Yeah, uh, I, I, I won't, I'm not going to say I won't, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not in love with co-driving. <laughs> so d- has uh, has uh, Dave let you drive the uh, the bomber? Um, he tried to. It didn't work out. I have driven some things, but yeah. I rode with Dave in the bomber. Yeah, I know you were riding um, with him, so I was wondering if. Yeah, you last just... year I drove uh, Brian Reed's the monkey with the knife. Yeah, car. yeah, oh, that yeah. was fun. Uh, I rode with Slauson last year. Haven't really. I rode with Dave this year. That's about it. Okay, um, but but. Other races I've rode rode with Miller Healy like I've yeah now now co driving with with somebody like that oh I want to go for a rip let's right. go but during a race eh, now yeah. like navigation not my strong suit okay. I, I don't really pay attention to that I'm, yeah. I'm not very techy yeah. Um, yeah so I mean I can change the tire don't sure wrong, but sure but the, yeah when it gets yeah. to that fish finder there yeah and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. yeah the fish finder yeah yeah so um, will I do it sure do I want to eh. okay all right. I do want fair. I do like racing yeah well of course we're all here for the same See, thing exactly. <laughs> we like rec wheeling I, I've been wheeling here the last couple of days and we've we've done a ton of stuff we got oh, uh, Z walk up and down oh, yeah. uh, blue that's dot great. up and down Thor's hammer up and down and then that's where I ran into Levi Shirley and had to rescue him that's a whole other podcast coming up there with right? him. Uh, but anyways it, it's been so much fun just running these trails and and um, so Rufus Racing is with the Wicks, and, and we know the Wicks well. And so 
they we've been hanging out with those guys. Oh, and so yeah. I had I had um, Zayden, this fifteen year old kid, riding with me, and his first time to hammers. Oh. You know, he's watched you all the YouTube ride, and huh? stuff, and he's just like. <laughs> You know, we don't have anything like this in Australia. You know, they're oh, all Australian, yeah, they right? They just gotta find it. That's yeah, it. yeah. Well, that that huge, huge uh, continent there. But anyways, he um, he's like, oh my god, and I go, yeah, isn't this cool? I said, this is part of the race course right now. You yeah. know, we're getting to drive on the race course, and I, I mean, that's a whole nother huge cool aspect of this this event yeah, is that you can actually drive the race course and watch it on you know thursday friday saturday and go i was on that trail i know that or, or, rock. or come in a couple weeks or yeah time. you yeah can, the the course is gonna be so burned oh, in you'll yeah. be able to see it for yeah, months you can follow you know? it, yeah. so it's <laughs> i mean here in johnson valley i mean there's just shy of two hundred thousand acres that yeah. you know back home i've got buddies with farms we go play in the fields and the creeks yeah uh there's a few private parks but Growing up, I didn't know this was even a thing. Sure. You know, uh, so coming out here a while back, it, it was an eye-opener for sure. Like, you mean you can just drive anywhere out here? Yeah. Who owns it? As, well, as, you do. You know, as, everybody does. Well, one of the few perks of, of living in California. You yeah, know. there's yeah. only a couple without, of them. Without, without, getting, <laughs> without getting political. Without, <laughs> as crazy as California is, you know, we, we are very fortunate from, you know, Rubicon, Sierras, and it, all that stuff. You do stuff have some to, beautiful areas out yeah, here. We, yeah, we're, we're very fortunate for that. It cost us a shit ton of money to make <laughs> it happen, but we, uh, we, we, we do it. But anyways, it's, it's great. So, um, so this week... Uh, Hammer Week. I mean, you've been out here for how long now? Though? Uh, more than three weeks. More yeah. than three weeks. I was you've... out here on whatever January tenth. Okay. I showed up. <laughs> or no, I left my house on the tenth. Okay. Yeah, so it's a two day drive. Yeah. Twenty four hours. I I I used to drive straight through, but I don't. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, all, we're all getting older. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So basically, three weeks, and then I did sneak home for three days. I flew okay. out Monday. Hung out with the family Monday night, oh, cool. all day Tuesday, and then took the girls to school on Wednesday. Wife dropped me off the airport, and here and we are. So go. It was a good little reset. Just I love I love it out here. Don't get me sure. wrong. Sure, get your mind straight. Well, you know, hug especially the kids. you got you got, yeah. you got family. You know, yeah. you got your kids. You got to go. So see I still stuff, I so. still talk to them about every day. So now, now with, that service is getting oh, iffy, yeah. and I'm, now with race week, I'm going to be busier. So yeah, I've talked to them a little bit, but like. A couple of weeks ago, I could FaceTime them in the middle of the sure. desert, you know, and that's great. Yeah. So they're not, they don't come out at all for uh, uh, my wife is actually, or Bailey, she's been supporting me since the beginning uh-huh. of this. I mean, we were together when I first, okay, once in a lifetime trip. Uh-huh. And here we are. Yeah. This is my 15th year coming. And, <laughs> <laughs> so she's great. And I've always told her, like, it's cool out here, but it's cold, it's dusty. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's loud. loud, loud. <laughs> um, I'm going to be really busy, so yeah. we can't even hang yeah. out. Like, don't come. Well, yeah. then uh, Chase Beckham's playing. You know, now we got real music here too. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. So he's playing. I, I, and my wife. We, that's our genre. We, we dig that. that yeah. That music. Heck yeah. So uh, I was like, hey, guess who's playing? And so I tell her. She's like, oh, I'm coming. I'm like, ha ha. Okay. She's like, I'm serious. I think me and her sister. Okay. Marcy, we're coming. I was like, shoot, you know, I got a, I got a, uh, Dave puts it up in a, in a camper. So I yeah. like, we got a couch and yeah. I got my bed. Yeah. Come on out. Yeah. I was like, but fly in wherever I got points on the, on the car. Sure. Uh-huh. And, uh, get a rental car cause I don't yeah. want you to bank on me cause I'm working. Yeah. So they got a rental car. They're coming out Most Thursday of race week. All oh, right. On. And then, uh, fly out. I think, uh, we're going to, I'm going to have a, a hooky day on Sunday and okay. we're going to go goof off. Like, cool. Cause that's, that's a, the start of our cleanup mm-hmm. is the day yeah. after the race, but. You seen Boone Road? We can't. Oh yeah, we You're can't not get going stuff anywhere. back and forth to the ranch. No, so it's just a kind of an organized cleanup day. So I, I told Abe, he kind of runs everything. I was yeah, like, I'm gonna. Can I steal your Jeep and go goof off and show cool. her some trails? So cool. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. The the kids will see how Bailey does this trip, yeah. and and then if they want to come, I'll, I'll bring my own camper next week, so I'll have there more room. Go. And we'll see. They make they may come out next year. But okay, they're they're uh, Jade Nell. They're seven and ten, so they're probably at the age where it's going oh, to yeah. get easier to do sure. it so we'll see they may come out next year okay it's hey, uh get them cool. some atvs or you this uh little four-wheelers or yeah the... um so well, i've got a, a well my old 900 race machine i uh cut i didn't i had my buddies uh but we cut it in half and made a four-seater so i got a oh my know, gosh yeah i mean it's 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 got some wear on it because it was a race machine, so it, it's got all the squeaks you need. But everything that should break has been broken. Okay, so, there you go. So uh, if they come, I'll probably I've got a toy hauler, so I'll probably okay. throw it in there and and bring it out, and we'll be able to tool okay. around next year. So right. yeah, that's right kind on. of the the tentative plan. That's very cool. But when I come out here, I don't need to bring anything because we no. got 
30 K&Ms that, like, why why bring my thing when You don't have there? a Bronco King, King of the Hammers edition to tool around in? Let, let's get me one. Okay, let's do it right now. Yeah, yeah I would Dave, love to. Dave, you listening? Let's make this happen. <laughs> so yesterday uh, I saw a beautiful metallic blue uh, Bronco roll in, you know, on a trailer. And uh, I started putting two and two together, and that was Shears. Ah, yeah, I the saw that King of the thing. Edition. The King that of the Hammers sweet. edition. Yep. I'm like, oh, man. I haven't been over there yet to... There's to, so much stuff to see out here. Oh I mean, from a brand new Bronco like you're talking yeah. about to a rock bouncer to there's... I saw Jason Shear get in. I don't know what it is, but it had 54-inch tires. It had four-wheel steer. It's, it's that bigger than a the, bouncer. Is that the thing with the Chevron tires on it? Maybe, yeah. It was huge. It looked like a mud bogger. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? yeah. It was that thing. And I saw Shear and... Uh, uh, burger hopping oh, that thing. Oh, no way. And I don't know what they did. I don't know if it was just for fun, but uh, I, it hopped I, it. I was like, that thing's rad. I followed that thing in coming on Boone Road. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that that could have been it. But so. there's just, I mean, it's it's the burning man of off-road. It dude. is. I, it, I love coming out here and just walking around and just, sometimes you just got to look around. You I do. Mean, <laughs> you kind of get tunnel vision, but take the time and look over there and look over there and look even, under, look even under just the cars. walking through camps just all the you know rigs right yeah. just the personal rec wheelers and yeah stuff we're coming back to here. your place now and you know we're tooling back here i was like so where are we at was like, over, oh over by ultra three like, yeah, yeah right exactly right. Like, okay i know where you're at yeah, yeah. and that's i'm literally 150 foot or yard walk from here so. oh okay you're yeah. in the the right over on the other side of the bronco experience yep, yep, there yep. okay yeah 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 Perso- gotta go all the way around the fence. Yeah, <laughs> I know this fence. So this, fi- you know, we used to have like, I don't know, 15, 20 camps between us and where the and, fence and the, was and the track. And now the it, fence is right up against it, Hammertown I mean, Heights. Here. Hammertown gets bigger and bigger every year. And so this Bronco Nation right yeah. right behind us. Yeah. Uh, they've extended that twice the last two weeks. So that's what Dolly was saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dolly's been hanging out up here, and uh, yeah, you know, she calls me or texts me and goes, "They just push the fence more." And then another day or two later, they pushed it again. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, it's, Here we uh, go. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, a legit, everything's grown up. Yeah. A legit really amount of is. money that people are spending to do to spend, uh, to stay in those little tents and uh, the, I it's guess cool. the meals and yep. whatnot. Yeah. VIP. And, and talk about money. Like, uh, you see a lot of bad publicity about, about King of the Hammers and, well, it's free land. We should be able to come out here. Well, think what you're getting. You're getting a race. How cool is that? Okay, now all the music. Now you're adding, you you got porta potties. I mean, for $100, you, know, no. you could have bought it. If you're a true fan, if you're listening to this right now, you should have bought your ticket at 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now the people that are just now doing it, you deserve to pay 100 bucks. Well, but, and you were, you uh, if you did early on, you got 25 yeah, bucks, yeah, right? You yeah, were grandfathered life. in. Yep, yep. But $100, I mean, no. that gets you one day of Stupid. nothing. So for 10 days, the people that are complaining, no, they, they, I don't, they don't no, need to be I mean, here. I don't no, hear we're, that. We're talking, yeah, we oh, don't yeah. hear very much, but... I see it online a little bit. Do you really? Yeah, but... You know, but those it, are... The, whatever. Yeah. It, online, so... I mean, but it's still just cool on what we have oh. here for... Like I said, it should have been 50 bucks. You should have bought your ticket, but... Okay, Even well, if you're paying 100 bucks, oh my God, you're getting so much. Well, I'm pretty sure that the uh, eighty to 100,000 people that are going to be out here the next uh, 10 days, yeah. uh, you know, obviously... It, it speaks volumes that yeah. it's like the, best, the best true fan, the true fans are here yeah and no then doubt. and then you know and and what was cool i know dave a couple years ago was very transparent about the cost you know here's oh. what my permit cost with bom to make this happen so i get and, to hear a lot of that oh and, oh my goodness the money like people do think he's getting rich yeah is he making money i hope so otherwise yeah he wouldn't be here yeah um but the amount of money i mean it they so we i i'm staff yeah the food like he goes all out like drew deckman's our chef yeah cooking you know they got five five chefs back there like we get three meals a day and he feeds everybody that way sure. all the camera crew all the core staff like sure. dave takes care of us it costs money okay yeah. there's there's money there uh the porta potties oh. fencing uh, equipment rental i mean he spends it goes on and uh, on. a couple million dollars yeah. just and you know people are coming but you don't know people are coming right. i mean you know they're coming, but what if? Yeah, like it's still a gamble. Oh sure, yeah. You're rolling the so, dice a little bit and going, okay, well, yeah. If what if what if uh, you know weather, whatever, who knows? But, but I mean, look at look at this. I mean, it's this thing. It's a freight train, unstoppable. Oh, it's it's incredible. Nine hundred, yeah, just no, under nine hundred registered racers. Nope, nope, we're sniffing a thousand now. We're like nine eighty, I believe. Oh, so Emily, we, we, you know, we heard of the. Uh, Media tent, she said, was pushing nine hundred. Okay, so you're good, and, and that, that's with the new kids' Every, class. Everything, that's yeah, with the dirt bikes, everything. I mean, shootouts, shootout. It's it's gnarly. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, it's it's there's so much going on and it's it's just unreal. I know. Um, I remember you know back in the day you know 100 racers you know right and that was awesome and and i love watching the old videos of you know safety was pretty loose back then oh gosh and and i'm glad we've progressed enough to be legitimate and you know you have to have everything right back in the day it's like it was it was wild west and and to see the progression of where it came from to where it is now i know it's it's hard for me to comprehend because it is kind of a blur to me like because i've been here for so long that it it all kind of blends together Mm -hmm. but then you do have those moments you're like I remember that. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I <clears throat> I don't know how many times, just the uh, last few weeks, I've watched, you know, old videos uh, that are on YouTube of, you know, highlights of King of the Hammer and stuff. Of course, Slauson's video is great where he's driving oh, over the freaking car. And then the right? guy throws the rock. <laughs> he throws a rock at him. So I'm like, so people, you know, I, I have friends and stuff that don't do any of this off-roading anything, but... They've heard of King of the Hammers, yep. but they're like, okay, so what's it like? You go every year, Jason, don't you? you know, and I'm like, let me show you this video. And I show <laughs> up the video of Randy freaking driving over the car. I go, okay, it's not quite like that anymore, but it, it's, it's, this is, gives you a little taste. Um, yeah, Burning Man off road. And, and just like I, I said, you know, just all these different events going on and, and getting to run the course and all that. And it's like, okay, so now I, I got to go. So a thousand racers, let's just say, for sake of argument, how the hell are you gonna know who's who? You you know the yeah. guys, you know the main guys, but what kind of? I know you do your homework, but it's it's and these cars are flying across it, and the video is getting better and better. But man, it's so hard to go. Okay, I mean, there's some super identical i i cars that are iconic or whatever that you know right away, right? But then there's others that kind of look the same and. It, so it's getting harder. Yeah. And, uh, so, but but luckily we we have a, a big team. So like the king of the motos, I I, I don't research that. Okay. I, I, I hands off that. Yeah. It's the red bike with the blue helmet. Right. I, I, I just it's not You're my right. lane. So we had a couple guys come in. They know that's their. Yeah. They, they know it. all those guys. Um, the shootout. I used to love calling it, but yeah. I didn't know the people. So I'm like, you know what? We got people that know those yeah. people. So Matt Holt's kind of our specialist there. Yeah. Him and Ian Johnson are going to do that. Yeah. So. There's another few racers I don't need to memorize. Yeah. Um, the desert stuff, same thing. We got fish. He's yeah, gonna he's gonna yeah. be our lead for that. Like, I know the top dogs, but I don't. So, I'm 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 sharing it. Mm-hmm. And then and then the UTVs. That's getting tougher because there's so many classes and they all look the same. And you just do your best. And tracking helps. Um, yeah. But then when it gets into EMC and and 4400, that's where I do my homework. And I don't know if I can just get lucky, but I just once it goes. I, I I just figured out. I don't okay. know. <laughs> but so, I, I did build a spreadsheet with with their name, hometown. Yeah, I know. From, you, and and I just I update that. I've got I, it's probably pitiful. I've got probably a thousand hours in building wow. in the last few years. Um, but after every race, I update it. And sure, this this at the last couple months, I would get the registry list, and if I didn't know them, I'd send them a PM or an okay. email and with some general questions. Yeah. And I probably got 70% feedback. Oh, nice. And then I've got a, a good rapport with the main racers uh-huh. that they know to get a hold sure. of me. So, mm-hmm. and then I I just did that today, but we went with, uh, with our stage manager. I went and had a long deal with her. She's building this binders with cheat sheets and all that. Okay. And I share that uh, Excel file. She printed it out and share it with all the guys. And, um, and then we have other people that are not on camera in the production trailer and i sit at when i'm not on stage i'm usually in that trailer okay. feeding the announcer's information okay so that's why i was wondering yeah. is somebody like helping you oh yeah little, i mean yeah behind the scenes yeah and... there's there's that's that whispering in the microphone that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, weird. Guys okay yeah. Feed, yeah uh but it's clean even your, more than clean that. your uh, lens there clean yeah. your lens yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the voices talk in your head it uh it takes some use get used to the voices in the headphones and then the uh the delay on the live feed yeah. That it's was a, a trip. Tricky, yeah. So that that I mean, doing this podcast thing. I mean, obviously, it's just like we're recorded, but it's like there's no feedback. There's nothing. I mean, it's like you got two it's other simple. elements going yeah. there. You know, with video and and then the delay and oh my gosh. Well, that was the eye opener when we went into the booth with you at Prairie City, and we I was we when we were watching you with the guest ahead of us. You're not looking at the out the window at the race. You're looking at a at a monitor. Yep. And of course, like Jason just said, the delay and the voices in your head, and it's just like there, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and, and and speaking of that, like I, I've caught myself that like in Reno, you could see the whole course, yeah. and oh. it's so you want to watch it. <clears throat> 
but oh. you can't watch it. You have to watch it. You have to call the screen. Right. If you're calling, if you're watching it, you're seeing something the camera's yeah, not. Yeah, the camera's so you're not. you're calling, so people are like, why is he talking about it? I don't <laughs> right, even see right, a red right. car. You know, so, <laughs> so it's tough that it, it would almost be better to put you in a little cube where you can't see the race. You sure. need to call to screen. And that took a long time to realize because you want to watch the race. Well, well you can't. of course. So, so you were just, I mean, obviously you've been doing this for a little while, but... There was no. You just were basically thrown in the fire. Here's a microphone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just a couple I, pointers. I like and racing. Then off you go. Yeah, and like I so said, that's why I'm glad it was a slow transition. Uh-huh. Just the the nobody pit reporter. Yeah, because I needed to learn. Like now, yeah, people you, are like, so where where did you learn your broadcasting right. skills? I'm like, it's I all didn't. Self taught. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> one of my favorites was Ricky Johnson. It, this has been six, eight years ago, and I was like, "Hey, thanks for everything," because he'd give me tips and stuff. He's like, "Miles, you're doing great. Fake it till you make it." Fake and I'm it like, till you make it. So every year when I see him at, at, here at Hammers, I'm like, yeah. "Hey." I faked it, faked it, and I made it. <laughs> and I made it. That's awesome. Yeah. And then the the wrench, the yeah, microphone. Yep. Uh, that was that that's was awesome. just kind of a spoof. Like we needed something. We d- we didn't have a microphone, and we had a lav, which is the deal where you clip on your shirt. Mm-hmm. And it's just mm-hmm. a little deal. Well, we needed to we needed to do interviews. So I was like, well, I got to wrench it back there. So we just taped it up, and <laughs> and it was just kind of a, I don't know what to do. This will be funny, yeah. and then it like. It was a hit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, All right, let's do it again. And then everyone's iconic. like, where's the wrench? I'm like, we got we got to keep it. So I, I, I taped it up today. Yeah, yeah you, got, you got it all <laughs> dialed in. Yep, yep. It's absolutely it's, it's iconic. Like the same, same wrench that you had um, from? So back in the day, I, I borrowed one. Okay. And it was a whatever wrench. And then I started to bring my own once it was a hit. And then we got Boxo Tools okay. as a sponsor a few there years ago. Go. So they gave me one. And then I just leave that in the production trailer. Okay. So oh, it's, how funny. It's just, I... I uh, after I, after the show's done, I put a piece of tape on it. All right, Miles Mike wrench, and I put it in a little cabinet. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so nobody, so nobody throws it. it away or uses <laughs> yeah. it or something. Which I'm still sure is going to get stolen one of these days. But, <laughs> right, it's becoming <laughs> becoming a... What uh, size uh, wrench is it? It's a one-inch. A oh, one-inch. One one. Okay. Number one. Number one. I, I, need, like I need a one-inch wrench. <laughs> well, I got one, but you can't use it till next week. Oh, well, it's yeah. a good... It's Yeah, you got to be careful when this stuff becomes iconic because we have uh, our super producer, Lorenzo. That's he got right. stolen here two years ago at... But, uh, you're gonna have to meet Lorenzo. He's I've in, heard he's you talk about. Him. Yeah, he's in the camp ne- camper next door. But uh, yeah, yeah. If snail trail's not here, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, he gets he gets year. he gets donkey napped. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. It was uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the first years I had the wrench mic. Uh, uh, obviously the hot pits. That's I should be in the booth more, but I love the hot oh, pits. It's yeah. just it's my thing. So they let me, and then I I'm in out of the, the the truck helping them. Right. But, uh, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Brad Level. Uh, I was interviewing him, and he was having issues with his uh, window net. Okay. And I had my wrench in my, my in my hand. I'm like, yeah, bang in my head. <laughs> and I got yelled at because I hit it, the it, microphone the on mic- the ceiling. Yeah, it was, it <laughs> I was like, like this. okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, don't, don't do that. Yep. <laughs> so uh, oh, all, all in good fun. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. So – uh, obviously, Pam is in the booth with you uh, quite a bit. Yep, how, yep. how is that relationship, or how did that? How, so it was Crandon a couple years ago. She, uh, I didn't know her very well, but she was wanting to be a part of it, and so she kind of like volunteered to come help. Uh-huh. And so she was coming to the races, doing registration, timing, whatever we needed her for. So uh, I was like, okay, cool. And then all of a sudden, well, I needed a somebody. What did happen? Yeah, somebody couldn't make it, and somebody said. Well, Pam, do you want to do it? And she said, "Sure." So she came in, and she's done great, and she's oh, yeah. she's gotten better and better. Just, I mean, practice makes perfect. Absolutely. Um, Fake so yeah, until you make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she's been working with me for the last, I think, three years now, and I feel like we have a good rhythm. Hey, yeah, the, you do. You know, and, and you know, she she asks the right questions for me to answer because mm-hmm. sometimes I get caught up in the moment, and I, I sometimes assume people know stuff, and she's like, "Well." What about this? Like, yeah. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Dumb it back down. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I feel like we have a good flow. Obviously, here at Hammers, I think we got like 12 hosts because it is 10 no. days. Yeah. I can't talk all day every day. No. <clears throat> I've already got Hammer Long. I was going to say, that's why. I started the live show yet. I wanted to get you before you started yeah. announcing so your voice is still fresh. Uh, it's fresh, <laughs> huh? You call this fresh? <laughs> it's fresh as it Maybe you need another. Well, you, you need some bourbon? It'll make it fresh. <laughs> you but, but you don't need drink a, bourbon, another so. CL latte there. <laughs> You, you need another you need another beer? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, all right. thank you. Um Wow. So what is your after all these years of being a hammers and now being actually part of you, you know, the whole whole production here, what is your, your favorite part of Hammer Week? 
Man, that's, that's a tough question. And now you're here question. for, I know it's a um, tough question, but that's what we're here for, to ask the tough questions. I'll Ronald. be honest. See, it's, we'll it's flip the, the tables on you. It's, a, it's the after hours. It's this. Yeah. It's the fire pit. Yeah. It's the, yeah. the little parties like, hey, we're doing a, a shrimp boil or a hot dog roast. Yeah. Like, that, that's, it's getting hard to make those parties. I'm actually missing one right now. Oh. But I'm going to still try to sneak over. Well, I, I missed, <laughs> I, I, uh, Randy Slauson texted me and says, let's go do a night run. I said, I'm interviewing oh. Miles. So I missed a night run <laughs> well, for you for, with for, Randy yeah, Slauson. Well, you messed up. I know. I did. I did. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's my favorite part is uh, the racing's obviously why we're here, but right. it's, it's the camaraderie. It's the friends Absolutely. you make. It's the, the beers you drink with the right people. It's it's all of it. Like, I I go to bed at home between 9 and 10 normally. Okay. Like, I got kids. We go to school. Sure. But when I come out here, it's, they're in the bedtime. I need no. one. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, I know for a week and a half, I'm just going to run ragged and, and sometimes, <laughs> this is a great story. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> so last year, we sit down I had one of those one. nights where I had dinner and I'm I sneak back to the camper and I'm like just kind of relax and yeah. it's like eight o'clock. I'm like, I think I'm just gonna stay here. Like nobody yeah, knows I'm yeah, here. Just shh, turn well, out the lights. <laughs> well, it was. I guess it was tonight because it was the night before the Toyo Tire Desert okay. Challenge, and I'm laying in bed and I I, uh, I share a camper with RDP, our our editor. Uh, he he's awesome. Me and everybody's but. He couldn't find me, so he comes to the camper and finds me. And uh, <laughs> and he's like, hey, we don't have a Toyo Tires commercial. I'm like, oh, well, that race is tomorrow. He's like, yep. I was like, well, it's dark out. What we? He's like, no, we already got it planned out. It's just going to show Toyo Tire logo, and you just say, all this racing action brought to you by Toyo Tires. Right. So I'm in my underwear in bed. <laughs> he gets his camera out, and we make a commercial. <laughs> you heard it here on Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. See, this is what I love about the podcast. And, you know, we're unscripted, so the stories just roll out like that. That's freaking great. Awesome. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it was um, now. That's a funny one. I, I like it. <laughs> that's that's going to give me a bad visual when I'm watching no, the no. live feed when I get home. You know, I'm going to be watching the the, and I'm going. I wonder if Miles was in his underwear. <laughs> you never know. I mean, I'm in my underwear right now. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is no video. <laughs> I mean, no, I got pants on too. No yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Let's clarify that for our, our listeners at home. Oh, we're going off the rails. Here we go. Welcome to Wheeling Wine and Whiskey Podcast. To after hours at Hammertown. <laughs> after hours. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's so yeah, right. you're right. The camaraderie is unbelievable and the people you meet and it's like every year you know i meet more and more people absolutely yeah and then you see them once a year at this event right because everybody's from all over united states the world for that matter oh, i mean the, the world yeah, yeah absolutely. i mean i've met a lot of the australians well, uh, the, there, there's probably 15 of those guys that came over here and i know no there's, there's a lot of Europeans. Four fans yeah old, yeah yeah uh, aussies and it, it's it's awesome yeah and, now we're buddies. Yeah, that's it. And then, so that's why, yeah, I was hanging out with the Aussies over there through the Wicks. And, I mean, we've been wheeling the last two days together. And it's just, it's freaking great. Now, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, if I ever make it out to Australia, I got some people Absolutely. to hit up and say, hey, show me around, right? But, yeah, it, it is. It's so freaking great. Um and then, you know, we ran up Chocolate Thunder last night. Uh, we were, I, I went up there with yeah. uh, Jody Ford last night. And so, took, so took, Paul Wolf okay. was up oh, there. That dude's a. He's an animal. So we just interviewed him. Okay. Uh, he's great. Yeah, he? uh, it's a good one. He's and a good old boy. He is a good old he is boy, a right? Good old boy. And yeah, it, he, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, that was a, that was a fun one. To, yeah, and to um, it, but anyways, he's sitting there in his forty four hundred car in the middle of Chocolate Thunder. I thought broken, but I think he ran out of gas because they. I saw we were kind of halfway up, and then he's got. Um, uh, somebody brought some gas up, dumped it in, and then he freaking took off like a rocket, right? And I'm like, <laughs> I yelled at him. I'm like, hey, Paul. And I said, Jason, you know, we wine and whiskey. And he gave me a, but he was so in the moment. In know the zone, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he knew freaking put two and two together, but we got to go over to his pit. We haven't been over there oh, yet. Oh, yeah, no. We, we, we have, a, well, dude, we're just scratching the surface. I literally just got you here. You just today. got here. <laughs> no, so how, just many, got here. how many podcasts do you have? planned or, or are you just kind of wing it so or? so oh no so we've contacted you know we have like eight or so like kind of lined out and yeah then if you can grab more cool and that's it yeah, and then, yeah. then we're gonna go you know we just walk through the pits and stuff and then you get know little like, snippets here and there. And little, yeah and then i, I did that today yeah <laughs> And then, you know, some some people will come find us and go, hey, you know, we'd like to do a podcast. Okay. But it's, it's yeah. yeah, we're we're 
it's a good lineup, you know. <laughs> it all started with you. Yeah, well, look perfect. at you. You're number one. Hey, that'll one work. One inch rent. And like I said, thanks, thanks for having me on. I, I do appreciate <laughs> it. I'm, I'm glad we can laugh about it. But you've you've offered a handful of times. No, it, it's hey, just, you know it's busy, but it's, I'm glad to finally. You're you're, link up. you're a popular guy, you know. <laughs> well, we we want to get little. the voice of Ultra Four on. Yeah, so. here we are, I mean, and it's funny, like. I'm still an average Joe at home. I mean, I take my kids to school. Sure. I, I take out the trash. I pick up dog shit. You know. Yeah. And then, uh, and then out here, it's it's a different world. Like, cause cause of this live show. It's, so so yeah. what what I mean, everybody like recognizes you out yep. here and stuff. So what's that celebrity like uh, status like? Don't get me wrong. It's cool. Uh huh. It's also like. Hey, buddy. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, hey buddy. I'm so like, uh, I, I'm just trying to walk to the bathroom. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had that conversation with my wife last year. Like, there's one more, and I, I, had I really to my, need to go to the I, bathroom. I had to do my business. So I, what I did is I, I put my my hood up high. Yeah. My, I was like, I'm on a mission. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't uh, look at me. But it is fun. Like, I'm still a fanboy to like sure. Bobby Gordon. Yeah. I mean, he, I just sure. saw him and. I don't think he like knows my name and knows me personally, but he recognizes sure. me and, and he's humble. He's cool. It's like, I hope that if somebody does look up to me that I'm that guy, yeah. like, I want to, so I always, I just try to be nice. Yeah. And, I mean, that's my natural. Habit, yeah. I was going to say, but yeah, yeah. it's just, I, I just try to say, Hey to whoever says, Hey, and, sure. and wave to whoever. And you can, you can catch the vibe if they're trying to get your attention. Like, Oh, Hey, and we'll BS about nothing for whatever. And yeah, uh, it's, but yeah, here it's, it's definitely if you're here, you're a fan. Oh yeah, uh, well, of course. I'm sure there's some people that come for well, what's King Hammer. Let's check it out. But for the most part, it's they're, yeah. they're avid fans. And what what Dave and Hammer King Productions have done, I mean, it's really put off road on the map. Because I mean, Baja 1000, how cool is that coverage? There isn't any. I mean, yeah. they try to, but what Dave does out here is amazing. Yeah. Uh, with Travis Walder with all his IT guys, it is absolutely insane. I still can't. I don't understand how it works. Like, I can't send a text, and my my staff Wi-Fi works sometimes. Sometimes uh-huh. it doesn't. But the live show, they have dedicated yeah. microwave dishes pointing all over sure. the place, and oh yeah, and it's like it is legit TV quality stuff. And I can't send a text. Right. I mean, what they do is awesome. Yeah. It is. It's truly amazing. I mean, and I just from uh, my perspective, being a few you know, more, let's see, a couple three years ago, I had to leave early. I had a work emergency that required my attention, that uh, personal on-site attention. Oh. And uh, so I left on Wednesday. So two days before, well, you know, EMC. That was back on, when it was Friday, probably. Yeah, Friday. Mm-hmm. I think Thursday, EMC Friday yep, yep. was the main race, or maybe. Yeah. No, I don't, no, no. Anyway, I'm so I'm at home at this point. And I'm like, well, I'm watching the race no matter what. So I'm sitting in my living room, got beers, and you know, I'm just watching it on big screen TV. And the coverage was really, really good. It's impressive, yeah. And I mean, to to look at the drone work that it's, even oh, now man. that's going on. I mean, when they're out at Cougar Buttes, oh yeah, and the freaking drones are zooming down and they're like. Yeah. Getting into the and sometimes you go <laughs> under the car. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Rad. I, I mean, it's it. like I mean, so we've we've talked to a few drivers, you know, and they're like, "What's that like when you're like stuck in traffic and this drones like right here in your face?" And they they give us this like, "Yeah, it's kind of trippy," you know. It's like be on your best behavior because yeah, you're on national TV or worldwide TV. One of my first races I did in the UTV, I was uh, it, we had mixed. It was nine hundred and thousands. So I uh, I was. I was in second place. I beat. I was kicking ass. It was awesome. And there's a camera guy over here, and I'm like, "Oh, this is great." Smoke the tree. Oh, oh no! <laughs> like, oh. So yeah, don't watch the helicopter. No. Don't watch the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there aren't too many trees out here. But, right, right. But, uh, not, not too <laughs> many. Just, just giant ass rocks. Oh yeah. man, big rocks <laughs> everywhere. Oh, those rocks are moving, man. Oh, man. On Thor's hammer and Z walk. It is and sl- loose. And sledges Sledge. changed up a bunch, Sled- too. Yeah, that big rock yeah, uh, came down it's there. Wild. It's wild. In this course this year, I mean, Dave's having fun. You know, he had all year to have fun out here. He's been wheeling and finding new trails, and and sometimes we're like, oh, this course is too easy. <laughs> Yeah. You shouldn't have said that. No, well, it's, 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 it's going to be a good one. Well, it's that goal of his to try to have the I drivers mean, finish in the dark. It's you know? the hardest off-road race in the world. It, it is. And it what is. did he build? Single day yeah, off-road single, race yeah, yeah. in the world. Yeah. What did he build the course in? A bomber. A bomber. And that thing works so good. It's so awesome. that was I was I was at Randy's house last weekend, and and he goes, the "Course was built with a bomber," <laughs> and I, and he's won all his wins have been odd years. Yeah. You know, last year he had a bad year. 
tried did forty eight, put a window in the block. Forty four hundred. He uh, what was it? The, uh, no, the um, yeah the no, torque converter bolts. Yeah, yeah. okay. Sheared. Yeah, I talked something. to him just. I think it was a couple days ago. Like, yeah, I BS with him. I was like, so what do you think of the course? He's yeah. like, it's tough, but. It's, you know, it, it's Randy's a wheeler. So playing into his it, cards, it, man. Play, yeah. He's a rock guy. I was talking to Blyler yeah. too today. There's another and, one. And he said I mean, like this is going. this is this is built for us. He's <clears> like the the desert is the desert. I'm I'm not gonna be the fastest, but I can't wait to get the first lap done and and this get into this the course rocks. is built. I was like, yep, yeah, yeah, sweet. So but then but then I was talking to Tom Ways today, right? And he's like, I there's so much drama or not drama, but <laughs> IFS versus straight. Yeah, ass. oh, I like, know. He's like. It doesn't matter. He's, yeah. like, I, he's like, I have IFS because I like it. But he, he doesn't think – he thinks his IFS is almost as good as a, a, a salt axle. And yeah. he, the way he explained it, I, we did it – I was in, during an interview, and it made sense. I'm like, that's a different way to think about it. Like, yeah. He's like – because just the way it flexes, like, all right. So – it's just it's interesting hearing everybody's outtake, sure. Because right? you know, everybody has their own opinion, and it's it's fun to to listen to. Them. Well, it's the solid axle or the IFS or the uh, the fully independent suspension. Now the portals, the yeah. Now shocks, portals. The portals. I mean, the tech that's out here. I mean, we're hearing what Horschel's going to have the four wheel steer forty four hundred car this year. Uh, it, it's here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's got I mean, a couple of them now. Ben yeah. I mean, Miller, I think his name uh, has uh, one too now. I mean, this is going to be uh, all all bets are off. And man. now the live valve shock, <laughs> right? Like, and the shocking yeah, shock packages it's, it's, that uh, adjust on the fly it's crazy and the the mason all-wheel drive trophy trucks you know came a few years ago and that was based from ultra four yeah. I, I really feel like that yeah. that really sparked an interest that like oh wow you can't have all-wheel drive four-wheel drive whatever you want to call it and and go fast i mean look at shannon campbell he brought yeah. that he built that class one back in the day and it's it still moves like yep. it's it, it's cool the technology they share and and bouncing ideas back and forth it's it's amazing on on how, how it's coming together so i gotta put you on the spot who who are you uh, thinking gonna win this <laughs> so thing, right? I, I love this i know Everybody i know, I, know. I, just, I love it we, we, um, it always spurs so, on good conversation does the so, announcer have a favorite yeah, do you so, have a fan favorite so, so it's funny like i try not to show favorite favoritism i've right. got i've got people i'm fans of sure i've got my picks that you uh, people you want yeah, to yeah, win I got, right I, I got that i do and like, uh but a current king could win, absolutely no no hands down. Uh, but a couple names: Tom Ways, Paul Horschel. We just talked about yep. those are those are two. But there's there's probably ten to fifteen more that are on the list that could win. And and I I try not to do it. Right. I do because I don't want to play favorites. No. I don't know. But um, it's so tough because now. It's cool too because now I'm friends with all yeah, the racers. Like right. back then, I was just a fan. Yeah. I, I'm still a fan. I'm sure. still one of the biggest fans. Sure, uh, but now I'm buddies with them, so it's hard to to pick one to not right. root against and right. all that. And I, I don't know. It's gonna be it's be cool. Okay. And, and on that note, all my racing buddies they give me they give me swag, right? Right. So I got my my clo- I got the walk in closet. My wife doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> But I do make a point that at races, I do not wear team swag, okay. period. I just oh, don't yeah, do it. I yeah. wear neutral stuff. Yeah. But when I'm home, I can wear whatever I want. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I try not to play favoritism. I, I do. Um, Scott Rain, I've announced with him quite a bit. And back in the day, he could. he's like, I can tell who you like, just how excited how you, you get. Yeah, And yeah. that really, I was like, man, if so you can tell, you gotta, yeah. people can tell. So that really, it really sunk into, it. like, I, I try to. To be equally excited but about it, anybody, it's hard not to get excited. I mean, like, is, yeah. let, let's let's take uh, you know Bailey Campbell for example. I, I mean, when she almost oh, won this she, thing, that was a heartbreaker. I mean, that everybody so was cool. just pulling for oh, yeah. her, right? I mean, it's just like you you should have. Uh, I'm yeah, sure wherever you were at, everybody yeah. else did it too. But yeah, I was in the production trailer when it sure. was going down, and it was just like the wind came out. It was like oh, yeah, it was just uh, yeah. The, the queen of the hammers, the queen of the hammers. It's just got a good sounds ring right, to it. right? And the, she's. She's a rad chick, man. Yeah. She she has what it takes. She does. She's she's uh she's small but fierce. I mean, yeah. she's, <laughs> she is a tiny. And, and I love like I've I go to all the races and and I walk through the pits. Like hammers is tough because there's too many people. Oh, so I still do it, people. but you it's it's different. At a regional race, I can I can see most people. That's why I love you, like Prairie City can't. and stuff. Yeah, yeah you can, you can yeah. see everybody. Uh, but well, you, you, I mean it's. Yeah, it's like a family atmosphere at that point. I mean, sometimes you get lucky in in the pits in Hammertown. I mean, where you just the timing is. Perfect. Oh, it's luck. Yeah, walk I by mean, and like see some. Last cool stuff. year, yep. we we scored with we we talked to Shannon. Can we interviewed Shannon Campbell last year? Oh, he's, he's he awesome. sat down with us, gave us a half an hour of his time, and cool. it was like freaking bucket list stuff. Bucket list, man. So 
six, eight years ago, I was doing this, obviously, but I wasn't big enough. But I went by just fanboying and yeah. hanging out. And he, he's like, hey, dinner's ready. Here's a beer. So I went in. I was like, so sure. I called my mom that. that. It's like, <laughs> I just hate dinner with Shannon Kale. Yeah. And now, now we're legit buddies. Right. But back in the day, like, he's a cool dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but back to Bailey is I walked through pits, and you, she is actually – Dirty hands working oh, yeah. on her own car. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's cool. mad respect. Yeah, and I mean, she knows the car. She can drive, and uh, it, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, no, that that whole family, Wayland, and you know, too, and helping, you know, his sister out over there at Prairie City, and yeah, I'm yeah. Just I like, she, there was, she had a tranny or transfer yeah, case problem, one or the one or the other. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, Wayland lost a motor a couple days ago, and oh, they've already, really? yeah, it's something. Oh boy, something oh, boy. Shannon was showing. He showed me a picture. That something like arced, something <laughs> grounded, and it welded the the uh, the transmission. Like it was weird. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. We so gotta, it, like, we're gonna have to go by the pit. Yeah, it it went out. through the the crank and messed stuff up. Uh, no, what? Sorry, not tra- torque converter. Oh, it, torque converter. Yeah. So it, it, like there was a weld on it. He's like, it doesn't make sense. So there's like a weird, but they I don't know. They took it out. Inspected it, whatever, and I guess it's back out here. They were tuning the day, but it's crazy that yeah. And then Levi had an output shaft on his transmission. They went chalk tuning and popped it. And then I saw who else had a tranny? Uh, Casey Gilbert had a transmission out. Like it's so crazy. You can do yeah. all this prep at home. Yeah, in your shop yeah. with all the tools in the world, you're as prepped as you can get. You yeah. come out here. There's something about yeah. the hammers. Welcome to the hammers. And, and you're pulling engines, pulling this like scrambling that, that, for parts. So that's <laughs> another reason I kind of. I was kind of burned out on racing my my own stuff because you just got to work on it all yeah. the time. Oh, so yeah. mad respect to all these people that spend all their time doing the prep at home. It's it's easy, and then you come out here and you're the dirt. The weather sucks, you know, and they're still doing it. It's yep. like the, oh, these yeah. racers, oh, have, hardcore. Yeah, it's hard, passion. hard to go. Yeah, passion. It's passion. Yep, and it, it's it's amazing. Yeah, it really is, and uh, yeah, and then uh, you know eric wicks here he had his car fully prepped everything ready and he does all this crossfit with a uh, burger you know and trucky did, did he get hurt yeah he yeah, tore yeah. His rotator cuff. yeah so again i try to keep up with everybody and i had sent him a text or a message whatever i was like hey what blah 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 yeah and he gave me the information then like a week later he's like i'm out man he's like he's like dude don't make it public yet but mm-hmm I'm not racing. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like, oh that sucks. Dude, I mean, he uh, was, and he was going to, because, you know, good friends with Zandy, and he's like, yeah. we're winning this this year for Zandy, because, you know, Justin and, and his brother, Chris Wicks, you know, so his yeah. nephew and um, uh, brother there uh, race in that Bora car and uh, Bomber. Yeah, Bomber. Car, yep, yep. Bora Bomber car, you know, and Justin raced the motocross, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, dude, this kid's freaking just laser focused, badass, right? Yeah. Um, I'm the back of my mind. I never say anything, but I'm like, I hope he doesn't get hurt during the freaking motorcross, right? Because this motor, there's no oh, joke that, on that, two that, wheels that's out here. This king of the motors is gnarly. Oh, oh, man. So I can't he, walk up those trails and they're yeah. kind of dirt bike. He well, they finished. get off the bike and they just like yeah. get, they they send the bike up and then they follow it. Just, yeah, they just yeah. And so it's we were gnarly. when we were wheeling today. I was wheeling with with, with Justin and them and and uh, he goes, "Did you see that freaking you know cow trail coming down the hill there?" And I go, "Yeah." I said, "You guys came down there." And he goes, "Oh yeah." He says people were off their bikes like. Co- dragging Walk, ass walking down and the stuff, bike, yeah. walking the bike down because it was so steep. And I go, you rode it? And he goes, yeah, I rode it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you're a badass. That's gnarly. But yeah, it, it, and so it is. It's just all the money, time, I mean, countless all the money is crazy hours. Out here too. Yeah, you know, and it's just it's just like a, um, tonight, somebody with a new engine. How much was that engine that they just uh, bought uh, over there? Did you hear that? Were no, you I didn't of, hear that. I don't know. I, it was... You know, uh, so I was talking to Chip thousand dollars or something. Uh, I was talking to Chip today. Uh, Pip, uh, yeah, Pip, Pip lost an engine. That yeah, was a thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollar engine. Then, uh, both of them had trans Just, transfer boom. case issues. Um, uh, Chip had a motorhome issue. Uh, uh, Peanut, he was on yeah. his way this morning. Rolled his truck in traffic. What? what? And, yeah, like in Dallas, they had ice and had oh, issues. Oh, he, is he, is he okay? okay? Good. Okay. And then uh, Brad wow. Christian, part of their crew, had uh, a tension pull on his motorhome. Like they've had so much bad well, luck. And then you know, obviously, Chip happens. I, I bust his balls. Yeah, Chip so, happens. Yeah, he's he's you know we laugh about it. He, I'm really good friends with the whole Rufus team, right? And uh, so we we're giving each other a hard time. But I was like, dude, I love you, buddy. I love giving you shit. But I hope I hope you're done yeah. having bad luck. Yeah, no kidding. Been rough. 
But yeah, you, you think, and that was it. One of our friends uh, blew a head gasket on their truck coming down here, you know, towing two rigs yep. to, to uh, race cars on it. It's just, yeah, so not only the cost of the race car, it's the motor home or some it's sort support, of RV. the support equipment. You know, and then you're usually, you know, it's not just... It's some, getting some spicy of these, outside. Oh, yeah, we got a fireworks. <laughs> banging good. Good, good fireworks show going on here. But yeah, it's just, oh my God, it, it's... Obviously, people are passionate about it and make it happen, but uh, a lot of poor choices uh, financially. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, comfortably broke, probably, yeah, like exactly, you, you yeah, say, yeah. a lot of these guys. Um, but, man, it is just, you know, we're, we all can relate, and just, it's so cool. Oh, yeah. It's just, just, I mean, that, that's why we're here. Yeah, that's it's, why it's we're awesome. here, right? It, yeah, it's, it's crazy to see where it's where it started and where it is. So I mean, where do you think it's going? What do you see the future now that you're like, <sighs> Man, it's boots on the ground with with uh, I mean, you know. Ultra it's it's four. almost scary having Dave with this much time on yeah. his hands. Yeah, he, uh, he comes up with ideas and just rolls with it. It's pretty well, like pretty the rookie crazy. program. I don't Man, know. It was great. How cool is that? Yeah. And, it, it had so much traction because, yeah. like you're saying, where's the future go? Nobody knows. Yeah, but having the I mean, there's over a hundred people in the rookie program. That's a hundred new race car drivers. Yes, absolutely. I mean, and those are going to tell their buddies. Like the rookie program is pretty genius. It yeah. really was. And then, uh, you know, on the other side with Robinettes, they're, you know, they're bringing trucks, they're, you know, Pastrana, like the visions they have are to the moon. So I, I'm, I'm riding the train. Let's see. Let's see. Where it goes. I mean, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> who's the damn conductor? <laughs> yeah, it depends on the day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome to see. I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. I yeah. Mean, heck is, yeah. I think, I mean, I'm being biased, but we got the coolest off-road sport oh, out there for, I mean, for sure well, it's grown sure. i mean just simply looking at how it's now encompasses three weekends oh, uh yeah in, in you know three three consecutive weekends in the early part of the year i mean it used to it just used be, be one race used to be one, one race and now race. it's now it's a shit ton of races yeah yeah and they're all excited and it, 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 it caters to all sorts of different off-roaders whether yep. it's motorcycles or utvs or or the the, the and, emc and, guys and the utvs are, are really cool because you can go to the showroom floor and buy one. Yep. Yeah, spend a little bit of money on safety, and you could be out. You could be making payments on a UTV, right? And put and, some and, safety stuff and come racing with us. Yeah, Stock I, class. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like that's really blown up our sport. Amazing. Like, obviously, I'm a big fan of UTVs, but that, that can really get your foot in the door. It's the easiest, and yeah. and they're fun. I yeah. mean, and then you can you can go cruise around. You know, so I, do you. Do you I get upset it. when people call them golf carts? Because we uh, call no, them golf I, carts I, I, I'll say it too. We're, like, we're, we're from the golf business. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I, that's um, we... I think it's funny. <laughs> and if, so, if you can't bust your own balls. No, <laughs> exactly. Whatever. I mean, it was funny. So when we interviewed uh, Paul Wolf, I, I refrained from calling it golf carts. Out oh, no. He, he I know. He I know. But it was like I didn't, you know, and people were busting my balls because I didn't call them golf carts because I always do. <laughs> But I heard I heard one even better than that. Oh boy, you're gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh boy. So um Beep. <laughs> rubber band douche coops. <laughs> rubber band power douche coops. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. You yeah, know, you from know, the bell. I get it. Uh, so hey, some of them have uh, actual transmissions now. Yeah. Yamaha. Yeah, no, Honda. exactly. Honda. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. But that was that <laughs> that's, was hilarious. That's pretty good. I won't uh, it, we've mentioned who said that before on the podcast, but it is a famous skier. So you, the, your homework assignment listeners is so to I go talk, back I and listen to all earlier. the episodes yeah, and play. figure out which one it was. <laughs> he heard that from some guy in Mexico, oh, and, and he told me that, and I was dying laughing. Did I'm you like, just say oh who said gosh. it? Maybe. It, it was kind of under his breath, but I heard it. It's a homework assignment. Oh, a homework. Oh. Oh, wait. Were you uh, going to give away something? It's, no. It's, it's open book now. Oh. oh shit. Yeah, now, now it's like the cliff notes have been released, you know? Uh, just right. like Dave released the race course, uh, you know, early. It's, so, it's, how cool is that? I, so that? I love that. Like, yeah. He told me about that. I was like. I love it. Like, so did, how how far in advance before the live show did you know he was going to drop that? Uh, a little while. Okay. Yeah. He, he told me because there was a little a little bit of uh, talk on the interwebs yeah. of like you know sometimes we I want a pre meeting and I want to know these trails. And I was like that makes sense. And Dave's like it does make sense. <laughs> what if we just do it on the live show? I'll just show him the whole course. There you it's go. open land. Yeah. I mean, go. I was like, heck yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it, it, that was cool. But then I, I still haven't went. So during the live show, 
I'm obviously busy talking. I don't really comprehend all of it, so I, I, I should have went back and rewatched it. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> but so, I got cliff notes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure you got sources. But I, I got to say, you know, I've always, when you guys started the live shows a couple years ago or so, yeah, was, yeah, they've been going on for three, five? Five years, six okay. Six years, I think. Um, you know, just like everything else, just keeps getting better. I mean, it was like super legit this year. Yeah, you guys yeah. had what laser net build that for you, the, uh, the counter I, or something. No, or who that, built that? that? Was who back in the that? pirate days. Oh, really? Yeah, that was an old school pirate deal. No really? kidding. And it's okay. been hidden in a container oh, for a while. Wow, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty sweet what what they did. And, and this year, like you said, they stepped up. We uh, James Masters, we have a new producer, and he brought in some of his guys, and we, I showed up, and we kind of had it dealed up, and then. There is more lighting than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, like lighting, legit, lighting yeah. is important. The yeah, lighting, no, you, I will say the lighting was much better and the sound was much better. Yeah, yeah because last great. year you guys were sitting at the campfire, which yeah, is yeah. totally cool. And we I can mean, all relate, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is off roaders, you know. And and uh, but it was it was like wow, okay, they really stepped it up this yeah, year yeah. and uh, with everything, and that that's cool. Um, I felt bad when everybody like left you there. You're there by yourself, and Dave's like, "All right, see I know, you later. I was like, oh, you thanks, call buddy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm like, poor Miles is uh, there, yeah. just sitting there. Okay, uh, it's, it's, it's all good. good. He's got a man show. <laughs> yeah, but you did roll with it, and yeah. that was my point. I was like, that was cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know it's it's crazy to see where this goes. I mean, this just see how this thing unfolds the next few days uh, here, right? Hey, you asked me earlier, what's my favorite part? Yeah, obviously the fire pits. Yeah, the, but the racing. Uh, it's it's gonna be awesome. I yeah, mean, there there isn't a favorite part. It's all of it. You know, it's the so the speaking of favorites, thing. you haven't picked a favorite yet. Mr. Yeah, correct. Yep, I did. That. <laughs> yeah, he's not. I mean, it sounds no, like he's no. not gonna. I know. No. On that note, <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> uh, so you've been talking about wheeling quite a bit. Do, do you wheel mainly just here, or do you go like? Oh, no. So we we go to Colorado. I try to do it at least once a okay. year. That's my favorite. And. uh you know, wheeling here is hardcore, right? Yeah. I, I call it leaf looking. I've got a... a oh, a, yeah. A, not a, even a... It's a JK on 35s. Okay. And uh, I like I like putting it in four-wheel drive, but my wife doesn't like the hardcore. Sure. Like, we don't want to roll, sure. obviously. So, coming out here riding with Dave, like, I've never really been hardcore rock Oh, crawling. really? Like, that was, that was pretty gnarly. I've gone fast and that, but... Okay. It's wild. Uh, but, I, I, yeah, it's it's fun getting out and about. Do you do, you do that kind of stuff, or are you more into the hardcore? Oh, every hardcore. Time? Okay. Well, everything. Everything off-road, anything off-road. Yeah. I've got a dirt bike. I've got, you know, the rock buggy. i got a CJ5 Jeep. Okay. i got a snowmobile for winter. I mean, nice. anything I can okay. do outdoors and, yep. and get out there. But I personally love the slow, technical rock crawling. I get it. And Rubicon, you know, is right in our backyard. I, I haven't, that's a bucket list. I haven't oh been there God. yet. I need, I need to get there. You need to go there. Yeah. Fort Ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah both and, of those two. Yeah, because so, they're close to each other, right? Um, yeah, re- I mean, no, they're, 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 they're relatively, relatively close. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, right it's, in that it's, area. It's, it's 30 area. hours from yeah, my house. You, 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 you could do <laughs> them both in a weekend. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So and then, then, it's there's, close. then there's Barrett Lake that you have okay. to do. Okay, all right. So you need to hit us up if you head out that direction. Perfect, I'd love to. We would show, and this is so freaking beautiful. You know, it's just, and you're you're wheeling on granite, and there's some Ford ice is legit. There's some serious rock rock. So there's trails out here harder than Ford ice. You know, but. It's it, between Fordyce and here. There's the toughest wheeling in California. Fordyce okay. is super cool too because it was a uh, you know there's a lot of mining, mi- mining along oh, it. Okay. It's, there's still some mining uh, equipment. Ton of history up there. It's cool. just really cool. I love that. Yeah. And so, and yeah. yeah, but I I mean that's why I keep coming out here a day or two earlier, a day or two, you know, and so it's going from five day to a seven day to a twelve day, day trip. Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And it's you know, all our buddies and stuff and we just go out and wheel our asses yeah, off. There's, the there's first mines five, out here days. too that are oh, pretty, yeah. pretty wild. And and Colorado like like I said, leaf looking with yeah. the girls. I got two young girls and the Jeep's perfect for that because we uh We'll go out and just explore and see a mine, let them crawl around yeah. it. We, we find a, a creek, start a little fire, cook some hot dogs, take the water, put the fire out. You know, we, yeah. we, we try to be, <laughs> no, yeah. I try to be smart about it. But sure. That's, that's my favorite lately. thing is taking the, the family out in the woods. Out there. Go go wheeling, but it's not hardcore. No, it's, it's just scenic. I I was, love there it. you go. That's kind of where and I'm getting. like you getting said, get outdoors. It's, man, the, the social media, I, I'm a culprit. I play on it too much. Uh, I, I, did, I played video games as a kid. I don't do it much now, but I'm scared for my girls because it's so easy to get caught up on your phone, oh, on yeah. your tablet, on your TV. Oh, that yeah. Get them outside. Yeah. Get them outside. Yeah. So we, we, we're pretty good about that. Yeah. We, we don't watch a ton of TV. I watch com- uh, you know, yeah. cartoons with the girls. We do. <laughs> right, right. Wrong, but I, I, if it's nice out, get outside. Yeah. You know, that's... 
No, and for, this is perfect for that. Yeah, and so Chris and I belong to a four wheel drive club, and and we've got you know it's we call it a non denominational four wheel drive club. So it's not just Jeeps, it's not just Toyotas or whatever, yeah. right? We have people with bone stock, you know, leaf looker rigs like yep, you're yep, talking yep. about. To you know, my buggy just on forty threes LS powered, you know, crazy rock All crawl, right? Above, yeah. And we got everything in between. I, I, Unimog. And oh, it, I love those. Yeah, we got a Unimog in the club. But so there's all kinds of different runs. So I go on, you know, the the little you know easy fire road, and I enjoy those too. You know, Heck it's just yeah. anytime you're out there just wheeling. So it's it's great. Well, so it's the camaraderie to, that whether it's this group, uh, any other group. Um, but you know, you, you have a great time during the day. Some, we have, we have an adopt a trail we do every, oh, cool. uh, late spring to open mm-hmm. a trail up in the high Sierra on near, uh, above Arnold, um, near Bear, uh, Bear Valley off of highway four. And that's, that's a work weekend, but it's, it's a great wheeling trip. But it's trip. still fun. It's, yeah. fun. And, it's, it's and a lot of fun. And, and we all, we work hard and then we get back to camp and it's a campfire. And hey, work hard easier. and play hard. That's my Absolutely. motto. I mean, work hard, play harder. That's yeah, what yeah, I yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's my motto. I, I do that sometimes too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> but I, I tell you, as I've gotten older and I've been doing this since I was 16 wheeling and stuff. And even like out here, I mean, as much as I want to be out four wheeling on the trails, when I'm coming back across that lake bed after doing four or five hard rock trails, I can't wait to get back to camp to just pop chill, pop a beer yeah. with the buddies, talk about the day's events, give each other crap. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, bust each other's balls. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's like absolutely wheeling's part of it, but it's it's that coming back to camp and knowing that you made it back safe and. Hopefully not too late. And, and uh, sharing stories and exaggerating yeah. them all. Yeah. 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 You know, fishing yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we're lying to each other. Dude, that rock was huge. Oh, yeah. That, you was, see that? Size, yeah. that was like a meteorite. <laughs> <laughs> you see me jump that? I got yeah. like 10 feet off the air. No, you just unloaded the suspension. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. just right? sent it. I just right? sent it, man. Oh, man. I was yeah. vertical. But, yeah, that's cool. Um, Man, I don't know. What else? Anything else you want to cover? I mean, we we got we, some we great got, stories, <laughs> this man. This is kind of all awesome. over the place. Yeah, but, no, that's what that's, we're about. That, yeah, this, this is, is what we do. This, this is what we do. This is Campfire Podcast I'm, here. I'm trying to think. I, I'm sure there's something out there we've missed. But. So um, coming up here, uh, all the announcing, uh, I see you got a little throat lodge uh, or something yeah, there. Yep, so, yep. yeah, I, how I do keep you keep on. your voice fresh, man? Uh, that, it's just uh, a lot of water. I think it's like... Uh, it's Hall's cough drops, but it's not. It's like a vitamin uh-huh. cough drop. It's not for sick, but I, I eat those all day. Do you do yeah. uh, tea in the uh, morning so or something? I didn't used to, but coffee? Jim Marsden, my buddy. Yeah, I mean he's from from England. Yeah, and that, they do tea, right? So English tea. I, I started doing that. Okay. Like I, I had one this morning, uh, uh, tea with honey. And yeah, that, uh, I was gonna say honey. Yeah. Yep, and that, Throw that a helps. Whole whiskey in there that helps that, too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> especially for breakfast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wheaties. But yeah, by the end of this week, I'm gonna be completely smoked. And oh, I'm I know. always like during. During a, a regional race, it's qualifying one day and announcing for twelve hours the next day. And by the like, it's kind of a bummer that the big forty four hundred race yeah. is at the end because I'm I'm mentally smoked, <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, my right. voice hurts. You just roll with it, but the I excitement, yeah, yeah. So the adrenaline. If, it's, if you. my voice starts cracking and it is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, here yeah. we go. Yeah, uh, so, it is what it is. But we do share a lot of duties this yeah. week. I mean, we have a lot of hosts, a lot of great hosts. Sure. Um, and I, I. I should work more, but I just can't. I mean, yeah. otherwise you're going to be burned out. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Do you uh, on the before you do get on the air? Do you like uh, la la la? I mean, <laughs> so voice I, exercises. I, I, I do that just to be funny. <laughs> I'm not doing it for that, but I, I'll be like, la la la. Just, just okay. see who's watching the laugh. But uh, <laughs> I, I still I still get nervous before you. Do you? Broadcast. Okay. I still get the like just like the race jitters. I, I get because it it's. I mean, there's a delay, but it's like what three seconds or yeah, something. Yeah. So you're. So, I mean, you're basically. I take just a, I take a deep breath, yeah, and then go and like that's the worst part is that that getting when ready you just to go. start, just, and then once you go, when you mess up because I'm gonna, right? You just roll with it. Yeah, you, you don't have time to worry about it. Yeah, you're in the right. moment. And that's yeah, when it gets that makes sense. it gets easier. It's the the lead up of the. Whew, yeah, I know I've done my homework. I've got my notes. I've got this. Oh, and then you just and then you got that. And then the, when you go, that voice in your headset going, and we're going live in, in three, two, two, one. So <laughs> that brings up a question that, that I just got a new question. So <laughs> what happens when? Because it's happened where the, the you just go dark. You're in the middle of the broadcast, oh, and it's just yeah. then you're all like you're about it. You're, you're doing your thing, and it's like and you. 
We're dead. We're, we're, we're off the air. I mean, what what do you do? Do you just keep talking or do you like, uh, get us back on the air yeah, now? I, I don't know. It depends yeah. on the time because yeah. was it a, did the generator run out of gas? Yeah. Did we pop a breaker? <laughs> right. did, uh, is, is the 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 audio still working but no video? What's, oh, what's yeah. going on? So you roll with it. Yeah. And and usually hopefully they'd say like, yeah, hey, just tell you what's lay going out on. or just keep just going. Ship. We got tech. Yeah. Just keep lying about something. Yeah. And then I, I really try to like. When something like that is like, you can't blame him. It's nobody's fault. So I don't. I try not to throw anybody. No, under the bus. no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I mean, it's, it's, that's this, happening. This, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're basically a television broadcast network out in the middle of nowhere yeah. doing it, doing magical shit. And, yeah, it's, and it's wild. you know, there's going to be technical difficulties. I just was curious what was going on. It's like, is everybody running around like like a cartoon, smashing into shit? And oh yeah, that, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right on. So when's the uh, live in-car feeds going to happen? So they're there, some of them. We, uh-huh. We've done it. I don't know if you've seen it, but yeah. we've had it. It's just, it, it's coming. It, yeah. It's getting closer. I, I hope it's going to be so badass when it happens. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. We, we'll see. Uh, we, we've done it a few races. I don't, I don't know if I've heard of it here yet. But Montana last year we did a little bit. We've done it at, at Mid America a yeah. few times. Obviously, Mid America is easier for yeah. the the short course race because sure. it's all right there. Um, but yeah, uh, the the team the team that's way above. Yeah. like I said, I'm not techie. Yeah, so whatever yeah, yeah. they're doing, I don't even know yeah. how they're doing it. But uh, I hope I hope it gets more and more because when magic. it does happen, it's awesome. Yeah, because it's, it's it, magic. It's magic. Yeah, the magic box. <laughs> you get, you get, you know, the, some of these racers posting their GoPro footage of in car, you know, and oh, it's, uh, it's, it's so cool. And then if you could get the audio of the the driver and the co dog, you know, like and, and the bleep button and the bleep button, <laughs> right? I mean, that would be, yeah. It's just, I mean, yeah, yeah that's. I, good. I, I think it's coming. Yeah, I mean, you were asking where's it going? Yeah. Nobody knows, but I, I hope that kind of stuff sure, is, is coming. Exactly. It's going to be. Listen to 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 Dave and Travis, the IT guy. Like, listen to them talk. Like, really? Yeah, you can do that. No, yeah. no, no, all right, that's cool. So we'll, we'll see. But there's, I mean, technology is growing every day. Yeah, it's, it's oh, wild. Yeah. I mean, we're we're having issues with our staff uh, Wi-Fi right now. And I'm like, last year I felt like it was decent, and then today, like, I'm catching up on emails. It's working perfect, and all of a sudden, yeah, there's no. Like and, and they're they're saying Starlink. There's so much interference that there's so many people their own Starlink that yeah the up travel of the magic neutrons or whatever yeah. they, they, <laughs> get t- neutrons, they get tied they get tied up. I mean I'm like huh it, it's 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 insane. It is crazy and I'm 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 with you. I'm a mechanical guy. I like to see and touch yes. and feel stuff. But when you're talking about radio beams and shit going up to a satellite <laughs> to get internet i i don't i don't comprehend how all that works but it's magic it is it's magic <laughs> but um so interesting i was talking to a guy today that said that um they are watching starlink elon musk is watching how this because this is the largest concentration of starlink users in the united I, states i heard the same thing yep yep so what I and you know somebody like that that's unlimited budget and crazy freaking mind is gonna go okay well X Y Z happened at this event King of the Hammers in the desert and out in the middle of nowhere and here's here's how we're gonna make it better yeah. next year yeah we'll see I mean we have Starlink too yeah I mean, Hammer yeah. King does I mean, yeah it's 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 wild yeah it is it's it's wild and just you know so tomorrow desert race and. Uh, I, it kicks off the week for me uh, when you got helicopters in the air oh, right the before the race. Isn't that freaking badass? Oh, man. Like, <laughs> and you hear it coming. And then, it, so you got choppers in the air, and you're like, okay, the race is about to start. Yeah. And then you hear those freaking trophy trucks <laughs> blasted <laughs> right here yeah. across our camp, and it's like, oh, my God. It's just, it gives me chills just talking it's, about it's it. Real so, yeah. It's real now. It is. It's, it's, it's game on. It's game on time. Yeah. And then the rest <laughs> of the week, just it goes by like that, but it's so much fun. Um well, I, I I know I'm respectful of your time. This is kind uh, of your been, night been off good. here, no, man. It's, it's all good. Um, I appreciate it. This has been awesome. I'm glad we finally did this. Yeah. No, th- again, thank you for having me on. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I hate it took so long. I'm but. super jealous. You're like a kid in a candy store, dude. You got a dream job. This is uh, pretty freaking bad. At, and you can hear it in your it your is voice, a dream job. About it. it is a lot of work. Oh, I understand. It's a that. lot of stress from time to sure. time. And I talk to my wife all the time about it because I I get stressed out. I do. Yeah. But. Uh, 
it is cool. Like, yeah. I used to change tires on the side of the highway in the snow. It sucked. <laughs> I liked it. Or I thought I liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And now, yeah, now I'm out here hanging out with you guys, hanging yeah. out with racers. I mean, right bump, rubbing elbows with the cool people, and and it's it, it is it's hard work. It's yeah. fun work. Yeah. You know, so well, that's it. And it, it's, it's, it's just what did they say? If you do something you love, you haven't worked a day in your life, yeah, or you don't work a day in your life. Lines, something along those lines. I've been working. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been working. I've been working. But it's, it's fun work. And no. you're hanging out with your buddies. Well, that's it. And you're you're you know giving your buddies shit. And well, I love it. It's, it's the passion. It's, yeah. it's the passion and everything. It's an extended and it, family, man. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It's, yeah. it's an off road family. That's cool. Absolutely. That's super cool and great to sit down with you and get some of these stories and. As we walk by the announcer booth, we'll give you the old uh, "what up" as your uh, <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay? Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. You can give a, you've you've been good about giving Wheeling Wine and Whiskey a shout oh, out yeah, when yeah. I'm on the live feed. Yeah. Like, hey, oh, Wheeling Wine I Whiskey love that. here. Like, yeah, like I'm, during regional rinse, I won't yeah. do it here probably. But yeah, yeah, I love getting updates and like yeah. oh, Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. Yeah, this yeah, tuned in. yeah. Perfect. No, it's so, good. Miles, so, thank you very much oh, for yeah. being on the show. Yeah, Chris, Jason, thank you for having me. Thanks for. Sh- uh, yeah, I'll be honest; I don't listen to every podcast. No, no, but I, I pick and choose on road trips, and I'm like, you guys, you guys do a good job. So, so. listen to Burger and listen I to heard Paul that one. Wolf. Okay. Yep, I want Burger drops some good man, nuggets, Burgers, man. He's he's good. There was there was uh, the the big eye opening moment for me is when he says when they do qualifying and they find out who they're starting next to, he goes and and talks to them and say. You know what? Do you what's your plan? Are you going to take oh. off like a bat out of hell? You know we don't want. I'm to, racing you. No, no let's get a game. Don't give it away. Oh, let okay. Him to no, it. Uh, but that's I cool. Like that. that makes sense. Yeah, so there's some good nuggets in that one. <laughs> so. he, he's he's one of the best. Yeah, Absolutely. and Chris Chris does a good job because yeah, who who's got time to listen to 196 episodes of We Don't Want a Whiskey? But <laughs> Chris uh, does. Chris does a really good job of um, the descriptive. You know, you read the. Uh, title and that yeah, yeah. pretty much like, tells okay, you yeah, what's look, going on. Yeah, you know, I, I feel you. sometimes yeah. they're funny, so. sometimes sometimes <laughs> they're serious. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, there's some great episodes out there for sure. So thank right you. Right on. Yeah. Well, again, thank you guys. And, Absolutely. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. Oh, see, that's good. <laughs> that sounds good. Wrap the show. Well, we gotta do our we gotta do our, our wrap up. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys take over. Uh, oh, I hacked well, that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was awesome. That was that was great. One pro to another, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send it back to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to get a hold of Jason or Chris, you can email us at Jason or Chris at WheelingWineWhiskey.com. Lorenzo's in there, too. You can email Lorenzo, but I don't know if you'll get any, a response. Not, he him. has no reception this week. Well, he has no bandwidth. No, he has zero bandwidth. So <laughs> you can also catch us on the IG at, uh, at Wheeling Wine Whiskey. Uh, do not forget about our website, which is www.WheelingWineWhiskey.com where you can uh, see all of our old shows, past shows, our merch, and, of course, Element Fire Extinguishers, which we'd love you to buy. And we're not going to get into that too much. But uh, also, don't forget about our our, our, number, our phone number. What's that, Jason? 408-800-5169. 408-800-5169. Give us a call. Leave a voice message, and it'll get played on the air. And with that, we are out. We are out.